Daily Broadside, day 360. I don't know why my algorithm keeps showing me all these apartments in New York City, because I'm not going there. Uh, and although I am astounded by what you people pay for that stuff, I don't really need to see it. But uh, a couple days ago, I saw one that was a, I can't remember if it was a six or seven story walk up. And they showed them walking up all these stairs to get to their apartment. And I'm like, God, I lived on a second floor apartment once years ago. And I mean, I grocery shop like I'm doomsday prepping. Like I go like once every three and a half weeks, you know? And I got eight tons of stuff. Like I couldn't imagine walking up six or seven flights of stairs no elevator ah oh, that would be horrible and it would be my luck i would leave out for the day and then get to the bottom down to the street and be like jab stick damn it and have to go all the way back up like it oh that that's just not to mention you get a new couch or something dang what delivery charges must uh have in uh big cities like that it must be insane it will deliver that couch up to your seventh floor apartment with no elevator no freight elevator no lift no tommy lift no nothing for four thousand dollars you know a couch gets a little expensive you know now you remember uh when i was a kid i don't know if this happened to you but you know we'd be riding as a family it'd be nighttime you know and i'd be in the back you know wanting to read or something i'd have a magazine or a book cut that damn dome light on him a little reading light and it was just like cut the dome light up you know just yelling from the front seat my father would just flip why did they flip a gasket in the 80s if you cut the dome light on damn i remember when i turned 16 i'm riding by myself one night and it was early on in my driving venture and i was like and it occurred to me i'm like i cut the dome light on i can see fine nothing changed I like to think that my dad was just protecting us from, you know, snipers or something, seeing inside the vehicle as we were riding down the road because I fail to see how that does anything uh, to impair your driving ability, you know what I mean? And did everybody see this? Uh, Biden was being interviewed by Harold and Kumar, uh, I don't, the guy, I don't know his name, and uh, Biden starts talking about um, when his epiphany happened or when he accepted gay people and i thought to myself well this will be interesting and uh and of course it had it's the requisite um it's not a joke it's not a joke which means it's a joke which means he's lying uh but anyway he tells this story about how he sees these two openly gay men in uh claymont delaware in like the 50s openly kissing in public and his dad breaks it down for him it's just love joey it's just love anytime he says joey it's also a lot um and and I'm not discounting the fact that there were gay people in the 50s in Delaware, but I am discounting the fact that uh, no father, like, touted that in the 50s. That, that was not a thing back then, you know? <laughs> and, of course, his stance has changed over the years, you know, clearly. So I don't know how this epiphany happened when he was 18, and then, you know, he's trying to ban same-sex marriage years later, and now he's back to, you know, liking it all. But I, it doesn't really hold water that someone would say what he says, you know? The guy just can't, he can't tell a truth to save his life. He's like a lot of people. Uh, there's a couple people on here that keep uh, uh, looking at my profile and they don't think that I know and it's so obvious, but they're liars too. Um, people that lie just can't not lie, you know what I mean? But that's okay. You know, people are allowed to suck in life if, if they want to. And uh, I remember um, I was looking at Steven Tyler the other day saw a picture of him and it was an older picture of him i mean what he was younger you know what i mean it's not like new like he looks now but you ever study that dude's face and just think to yourself that is one miserably humanly ugly human being i don't know why i threw humanly in there just thought i'd have a an adverb to describe a human with humanly but anyway that's an ugly dude much like mick jagger very ugly dude and i remember my uncle who's now deceased he told me I was making fun of the Stones when I was a kid because all I'd heard was really start me up. I hadn't fell in love with sticky fingers, you know what I mean? And uh, I was making fun of how horrible they were, right? Because they were against everything that I listened to. And I'll never forget, he said, Mick Jagger's going to get more pussy in his life this year than you will in your entire life. And that's probably been true. But that doesn't negate the fact that I'm not ugly like Steven Tyler and Mick Jagger because those are some creatures right there. Creatures! Good day.